this is at the end of the first day. They actually got a lot done. We had a few upsets. Uh, a truck got stuck. Uh, flat tire. I mean, you name it. It happened yesterday. So they dug the foundation and they got one wall up. The second wall is going to come up tomorrow after it stops raining today. But actually, it's a it's a really big size. So we were hoping to maybe a quarter of it, maybe have a brooder for chicks, and then you know the rest of it could be for the emus. Um, so I'll actually have to cut this fence too, so that uh, the doors can swing open. And then there's going to be a second door on this side uh, for this little uh, duck or chick uh, grow out pen. I haven't decided yet what that's going to be. So in order to drop the lumber off, uh, the truck had to drive all the way down this steep hill uh, and drop it off here. And it actually wouldn't make it up past this point yesterday, so we had to uh, do a tow truck. And when we finally got it up to the top of the hill, uh, we popped the tire. And so it was just a project yesterday on top of a project. So the coops all built, all four walls are up, the roof's put on, the shingles. Um, now me and my uncle who built the coop with my father, um, we're just going to frame the doors out and put some nice trim on the uh, side and it'll look really good. So today's the third day, uh, we're going to get the doors on today. There's actually going to be one right here and then uh, a second one uh, right here that goes into the emu pen and I think it's going to be uh, two doors so it's going to swing open um, on either side and I actually decided to cut this off um, maybe a quarter way here and instead of a duck I'm going to have it as a brooder and put all baby chicks and I'm going to fence off this uh, all the way up to the rafters with very tight mesh so that the emus and the chicks can't you know come in contact with one another so it'll be finished today uh, and then the next step is to put um, aluminum on this piece and then uh, stain it or paint it. I haven't so, but that has to be done before I fill in the bottom right here because otherwise it'll rot the wood. So the doors are actually just being finished today. It's day four. Um, it took a little longer than I expected yesterday. Uh, so now we have to actually build the separator in the coop, sort of like what I did with my um, my pullet and olive egg coop, uh, just so the emus and you know the chicks stay separate. So I'm gonna have to put some very fine, strong mesh to actually keep them from running into each other. Uh, but yeah, and then maybe next week I have to paint it. So the idea is that I'm gonna have a separator sort of like this. Um, I may use 4x4s, maybe something stronger, and then def uh, definitely a finer mesh than just this chicken wire. Maybe uh, we have it, I think you can hear the actual, the button quail crowing. <laughs> That's hilarious. So yeah, um, definitely a stronger mesh. Um, so I'll, I'll probably finish that tomorrow, but I definitely want to get the post up today. Say hi. Look how big you got. I'm gonna go into your new home, okay? Look at buddy. Look at That's your new home. Let me just lock this fence up so we can get out. So I have Charlie and Echo inside the uh, the coop right now just until I get this situated. But this is the new coop. It has these nice bolted doors on it. Let's see if I back up. Oh my gosh. 
Yeah, so this thing is pretty big. This is the second door right here. Uh, I have to stain it, of course, but there will be another door on the other side because this will be the brooder door. And then um, this will be the inside and the back will be the outside uh, to come into the emu enclosure. So there's all stuff in it right now, obviously, but. But it's a uh, nice size in here. I think it'll be it'll be good for them if they even use it. Some people said that it was a waste of money. Some people said they won't even go inside of it. But you know, I, I think they should have something big, just in case. And so I ran the fence all the way to the end, of course. So I was kind of weary uh, to paint the coop a dark color, just because everyone said in the summertime it gets really hot. But I needed to blend in, uh, you know, during the summertime. And one thing I thought about is there's three monstrous trees up above all um, shading the coop. So I think it actually should be fine with a darker color. Maybe like a camo green. I've even seen some black coops and I absolutely love them. I just, I, I can't see them staying cool in the summertime being all black. So I definitely have some decisions to make the next week before. Because this has to be painted soon. Um, because... The wood's exposed right now, and uh, it needs to be protected with uh, a few layers of paint, so. day out the biggest concern um, about building such a, a large structure was that we would see it from the house and it's pretty actually covered even in early spring now it's pretty covered from trees so you can't see it uh -oh. and this is Thor buddy so that was a big concern as you can see this this hill right here is very steep that's actually where the truck got stuck right here um, and so I guess the next project is actually getting a big U-shaped um, box for the poppies and flower garden. So that'll be in the next YouTube video. And so we ordered some really cool um, poppy seeds and a few other varieties. So this is the first year growing them, so I'm excited you know, to get them in the ground. And this is actually the, the egg corner, I call it, because let's see if I can... It has all the different colored eggs, so these still have to be labeled and shipped out. We have this whole little chicken corner right here, designated for eggs. <laughs> 